Alrighty, we're recording. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our last book study on Switch on Your Brain. And I hope that you have been blessed as much as I have with this incredible book. Um, and this is what I want to preface this before. Actually, no, I'm going to save that at the, until the end. Thank you, Lord. Okay, these past two chap, these last two chapters is where the rubber meets the road. Let's go over briefly where we've come to thus far, okay? Um, over the past couple of weeks, we've gone over the steps, the first three, yes, first three steps of the 21 day brain detox. Because remember, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Whatever you think about grows. Wherever your mind goes, so will your behavior go. You are not a victim of what's in your head. You have the ability to choose what's in your mind. You have the ability to choose your thoughts and then change your life. And so again, the whole premise of this book is to activate um, and to understand how you can choose your thoughts and then literally detox your brain from all the negative poisonous thoughts because that's what they are. Negative um, thoughts are poisonous and then get your thoughts to a malleable state where you can transform them to be in a positive life giving stance and really transform your brain matter and not just your brain matter, but your life and your behavior which is science is catching up with the word of God, which is so incredibly exciting. Um, Proverbs 23, seven says, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Um, okay, so we went over that, that the whole first half of the book is about why and how, and then the second part of the book goes over her 21 day detox. And her first step was the gather step, where she tells you, just get a hold of what's in your mind realize what you're thinking about. I mean, that's part of the battle to realize what's going on in your mind and that you have control over these thoughts, right? Identify what's going on in your head. Okay. The second step is focused reflection where you actually think about those thoughts and how you're going to change them. You have to be intentional. And when you get into deep deep intentional thought about what you're thinking about that actually has incredible power and physically and scientifically loosens the glue the protein synthesis the proteins on those thoughts to make them in a malleable state where you can literally transform the structure of your brain later to replace it with a positive thought so you focus reflection think about what you're thinking about the first thing is to identify rather gather identify what you're thinking about Focus reflection, think about what you're thinking about. Three, write it down. And then she goes over her metacog, right? And like the mind map, write down what you're thinking about because there, what happens is it becomes more cemented in your head. You can focus, you see where the roots are. So you can really dig deep and then see where you need to perform your own brain surgery, right? Okay, now the fourth step is to revisit, okay? This is where it gets really exciting. The first three steps are all about identifying the negative. Well, this is about instituting the positive. Revisit. This is where you're going to, what she says is redesign, recreate, reorganize your specific thought. This is where you put in what is it that you want to think, okay? I'm going to share with you. Okay, where's my other book? It's right here. My toxic thought, I'm gonna admit this. More mornings than I care to admit, I wake up and I get nervous because I have so much to do. I am stressed and I have so much to do. So I started my Metacon, okay? And I started writing down everything. I've got, you know, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I've got friends, I've got plexus, I've got homeschooling, I still have to do my taxes, I've got all this stuff to do. I want to build my brand. I've got da 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 Revisit. This is what it means to revisit. I do everything Jesus wants me to do. I am filled with joy and peace. I am life-giving to all those around me. That is what I want. And revisiting means I'm taking the old, that I'm too busy and stressed out, 
and changing it and putting in what I want. What I want is to be focused. I am disciplined. I am filled with joy. And because I do everything that Jesus wants me to do, I radiate life. I'm focused in my work time. I fill my kids' love tanks. I get done what needs to get done. And I go to sleep in peace and I wake up in peace. That's what revisiting looks like. What do you want to do with that negative thought? You establish what you want, okay? This, it is the active fuel to get us to where we want to go, okay? By this point in the process, your thoughts are malleable and you've basically warmed them up. If you do any workout, okay, I've been doing this 21 day fix, right? And what do they do the first two minutes of every single workout? You warm up. Well, guess what? Steps one, two, and three are your warm up, but steps four and five is your actual workout, okay? And you can't work out before you're warm or you're gonna hurt yourself. And she goes into this just to say like some positive affirmation. Like if I was just to say, I have all the time in the world, I'm peaceful, without writing down my thoughts, without examining why I feel stressed about, you know, I have too much to do. It's just a pie in the sky and it creates internal cognitive dissonance because you haven't warmed up the brain. The brain is like any other muscle. It needs to be warmed up by steps one, two, and three. Gather, um, focus reflection, and writing it down. And as it's warmed up, the thoughts are malleable. And so when you revisit by putting in what's positive, you are actually working it out and physically transforming the biology of your brain, okay? It's so incredibly exciting. So what she tells you to do is look at what you've written, what's the healthy new thought you want, and then begin the 21 day process. This is not something that's gonna come overnight. If you were talking to a prospect and they said, you know what, I wanna be better tomorrow, give me a pill. We would tell them you're crazy. This is not, what do we say all the time? This is not a quick fix. This is a long-term investment in health. You have to be consistent. You have to give it time. You have to troubleshoot. Well, guess what, ladies? You have to give it time. You have to be consistent. And you have to troubleshoot within her 21 days, okay? You've got to do that. Give it time. And then those protein synthesis, your brain will actually change. And eventually, this new thought will become part of your, of your biology, okay? Each time a thought comes into your consciousness, you can do something about it. Now, this revisit stage, I love what she says. She says, this is a self-reflective process to get from the internal conflicts to positive planning way out, okay? Oh, whoops. That's right. So you're working your way forward. You're reevaluating your reactions and you're putting in what you want, okay? Now, step five, let's go over this quickly. This is the active reach, okay? You know what you want your, your positive thought to be, right? Your active reach is what you're going to do during the day to make this a reality. Practice your healthy new thought seven times during the day and evening. You've got, that's how it gets into you. It takes time and it takes effort. We don't just do Slim Pro Bio 5 and Bio Cleanse all at the same time. You do it throughout the day, right? Well, you've got to be consistent. And she says seven times during the day. And it is in the doing that produces results. Whether it's putting it on index cards and putting it on your mirror, doing a voice recording on your phone, putting an index card in your car, putting one, a voice reminder on your phone, sticking one on your refrigerator, whatever you have to do to get this new thought into you seven times during the day, okay? It is that, this is what, step five is what destroys the toxic thought. If you do not do this, everything else that you've done is for naught. It's fruitless. This is where it comes in, okay? You've got to do it. It's like that verse in the Bible, faith without works is dead. It's great if you read this book. It is fabulous if you ascribe and intellectually assent to what she's saying is true. 
but it's not going to produce one iota of change in your life if you do not actually do this. If you do not sit down and write out your thoughts, if you do not sit down and actively figure out how you're going to go over this new thought seven times a day, you're not going to produce the new result. That's why it's called active reach and not passive reach. You've got to be intentional and actually do it. It is the doing that destroys the negative thoughts and replaces it with the positive one. Okay. So this, I love what she says here. It says, this is where you reach beyond where you are. And isn't that what we all want? We want to be a better leader. We want to be a better mom and a wife and a person. This is how we get there. You change your thinking and you've got to be intentional, okay? It's not just the mouthing off of an affirmation once or twice a day, but it's going through all these steps and then seven times each positive new thought getting it into you. These five steps engage the central parts of your brain causing real change. And that's what we want, real change. Okay, so let's just give a quick, quick, quick summary of this incredible book, 21 Day Detox. You go through each of the five steps, can be done in seven to 10 minutes. And remember, it's like the breaking down, you gotta do the building up. The breaking down and the building up. The act of reach seven times during the day. You may have to do this de detox more than once on the thought. She says that when you do it two more cycles, that's when it becomes automatized, she says. It becomes a part of the fabric of your being, breaking down the old thought and building up the others. Do as many detox cycles as necessary, and then you can move on to other thoughts. It takes time, it takes intentionality, but it's worth it. I don't know who I heard it from first. Maybe it was Christina. Maybe it was Brittany. And it's kind of become one of my little mantras. Choose your hard. Choose your hard. Because staying in a negative mindset is hard. I don't want to wake up stressed out every morning. The whole reason I started doing this plexus thing was for my family and to be life-giving. They don't want me to be stressed out. Staying that way is hard. It takes, an, and then it's hard to change, right? Because it takes intentionality, it takes action, it takes time, it takes diligence. But guess what? Freedom's on the other side of that. And that's what we want. That's what we want. The visualization is part of that action plans. See what you want and then make the plans to do it. It's a lot easier that way. So she ends the book there with the act of reach, your seven times. And I would love to hear what you guys think and if you guys have come up with your positive thoughts and if you've started any of your active reaches. I guess I can stop recording now. <laughs>